Now I'm right back into race war part two. So you get it? Race war war two. So um that's how it is. I mean, until white people see that there's a lot of bad white people, until the footage and everything is done evenly, until all the laws are equal, there, there's always going to be an animosity. Because who wants to stand up next to somebody? Me and, you both did, me and you both did the exact same crime. And I stand right up next to you, and you're standing next to me, and you go home, and I go to jail, and it was your idea, your car, your tools, your shit, and just because I'm black, I deserve to get more time. Probably because that's stupid enough to follow somebody's ass. But that's something different. Now, see, crime and punishment is not equal in this country. You know, and, and like I said, there's a lot of white people in this community I'm living in that are scared. These people are afraid. Why are they afraid? They got a bad conscience? Did they do something wrong? Are they afraid because of something they did in their past? Why are these people afraid? They're afraid of the uncertainty. And I was, during the election time, I was listening to all the things these people had to say. And a lot of people had said, oh, well, we're a minority. Why people think they're a minority in America? You'd be a minority in America if the 60 million Indians wouldn't have died a long time ago. You think? Hmm? What about the millions of Africans that were snatched up out of Africa so somebody else can have some spaces? Hmm? I mean, I'm not bashing white people at all, but I want to point something out. A lot of white people turn up their nose and do not understand the significance of allowing yourselves to get to where you're at. You made it popular to have nothing and hustle and struggle and bitches and hoes. That was all made popular due to pop culture. In order to get these people for what little bit of they got, let's let them be themselves. Let's let them express their ghetto mentality. And that ghetto mentality has festered in the white community. Because if black people are so low and so filthy and dirty and stupid and disgusting, where did they learn these actions from? They learned this shit from being in captivity. Why am I? I'm going to talking on this because I went to this website because somebody was saying I got the stupidest page on YouTube and I go to their site and this is what they're preaching. That black people wouldn't be shit if it wasn't for white people and that America would be nothing if it wasn't for white people. Look at the influence that white people have placed upon the world and is the world better because of this influence? You as the white people or white persons or a white community, you ought to look back at your ancestors and denounce some of the shit they did. And that's the truth. And a lot of white people are like, yeah, shit, I ain't had nothing to do with that. And they didn't. But they benefit from it. How do they benefit from it? They benefit from someone looking at them and automatically assuming that they're on the same page. Period. I know a lot of white people who have quit good jobs because of white people's attitude towards other people but not all white people are like that so if these group in this pocket of, of, of ignorance within the white community is not acknowledged then what would this pocket of ignorance do to the white community all the stereotypes that were placed upon black people like I said, quote me if you want to at this point. This is the point of these two videos where you're going to quote me for this. If the niggers are so fucking stupid, where the fuck did they learn it from? Hmm? Where is all the deceit, disrespect, hate, and anger taught? 
Who taught black people to be so stupid and dumb? Who made us the way we are? Remember back in the days, we were bred to win. You don't have to win anymore. What are we bred to do now? Most people think that all we do is smoke crack, sell crack, call our women bitches and hoes and go find some white people to rob. So if black people, all they do is rob white people, then why is black on black crime alleged an epidemic? Why are so many white people mad at how stupid black people are because black people all they do is rob each other, rape and murder? If you don't believe me, how some white people think, all you need to do is go look at my videos when I'm trying to be positive. Let me get back to what I was on before I quit that last video. Some white people won't even acknowledge another white person if that person is not of a certain standard or status. Huh? You understand what I'm saying? Some white people are treated like less than, quote me if you want to, again, niggers. Why? are they treated like less than niggers? Is it because they hang around blacks? Is it because they dress like blacks? It's because of their social economic status. It's because of their lack of education. It's because these white people do not cut the mustard based on how white people perceive white people to be. They're not part of the status quo. They're hungry. They look like niggers. They act like niggers. So, why do I talk about these subjects knowing that the quote-unquote black people who watch me do not want me to be uplifting anybody white? Now, am I uplifting white people or am I just trying to explain to certain white people out there that not all white people are created equal and that they are the inferior white person and not the white people that actually make a difference? The white people that actually do make a difference, that control our world and our, uh, what do I want to call it, our habitat. Those white people who control our habitat don't want to have nothing to do with anybody that is not of the same standard. In other words, those white people who are scared that they're becoming a minority have a reason to be scared because they are the minority. They're not the controlling, quote-unquote, white group they used to be. Because they can't trust young white people like they used to. Because the young white people have seen enough. And some of the older white people never had anything to do with the bullshit that some white people have done. And they have seen enough. And those who sit in their ivory towers in their purple mountain majesty they have now become the minority. And power is their drug of choice, man. They like to get high off power. You know how powerful it is to be able to shut down a plant with millions of people working? Knowing that you can save money? Knowing that you don't need that plant no more? Knowing that you can survive if that plant don't exist? Fuck all those white people you put out of work. They're not of the same standard and high quality. The hell with all those young people who need a future and jobs to go to. Fuck those young white kids. Let their parents make a name for themselves. And by cutting off your nose, you know what you did. You've separated yourselves in classes. Now, the top ain't going to do shit to the other three layers at the bottom. Because the other three layers don't count. And white people, you've been too 